Hey fans, and welcome back to another AI test. So we got another Turles versus Fasha Redo. So we have Turles here with attack plus two, defense plus one, serious. Light by Dungeon Zilling, persistent threat. Yeah, that's a good guy, Pitara, so I had to go ahead and hack that. Uh, you're probably curious on what it does. Let's go ahead and read what it does. Uh, you do an after damage attack after you are knocked down. Blast cage recovery. Uh, we tried it on, uh, I think it was Gohan Boo one time. We didn't really like, see anything, but, you know, if you want to go ahead and try it, I think, I think this is a curiosity, Pitara, but all right, sure. And uh, quick fast attack with Gohan AI. Against Fasha with her max health, defense plus two, eternal life, and serious with Gohan AI. Apologize with this being late. I've been fairly busy, you know, with my YouTube channel and other people's videos than just being out in general. So, uh, you know, I try to get to your videos up to you guys as soon as possible. You know, and then the whole process of making the video is a pain in the butt because then I gotta, you know, Get the character set up, make the thumbnail, record the video, edit the video, render the video, upload the video. So it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's not as simple as everybody thinks. The high speed clash. He wins it. So, I, so um, you know, like I said, I haven't seen Persistent Threat do a lot, but if you pretty, mu if it pretty much does nothing and you want to take it out, I mean, you can always toss in like Unleash Key. I mean, that's that's a, that's a one point for Tar. That's just kind of a throwaway. You can you can always give him a bonus and something. Wow, Fasha is just giving it to him. He's taking out less than a bar, and he's already down to yellow. Like the struggle is real right now. And so far, I'm keeping my eye out for that persistent threat. But so far, I really haven't seen him. You've seen him get knocked down and then do an after him strike. Because I believe you have to get knocked down to the ground and then fighting on the ground. So if you're in the air, you know, it's not going to work. So. I wonder it's only one point. Alright, so he's at max power. She's at max power. No, I mean, he was just knocked down to the ground. I didn't see an after image. I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you the truth. I don't really know how that patara works. But we're going to go ahead and test it out. Energy ballet. Oh, he finally took her, took a bar out of her. That was a pretty nice uh, melee combo. Full power energy barrage. Connects. So she would still be in her light green while he's already on the red. Like, the struggle is real. Eating the fruit. Uh, like I said, the light body. Definitely suggested there's a light on light body on him. High speed clash again. She wins it. No. That one, that, just that one, you know? Because most people, either they have, they're either they're devoted to uh, full power energy barrage. Either they're devoted to winning the high speed clash and you know, and then you're gonna lose anyway, or they just have nothing on, so you know, just tacking on that unleashed key just because why not? You know, it can actually allow you to win some clashes that you normally wouldn't win, or you know, increase your odds from 50 50 and increase it to a better chance. Because why not? Uh, the light body, like I said, that, that's fine. And uh, he loses. She, uh, what would she be in the yellow? Yeah, Chuji's best at the beginning of her yellow. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to say. Uh, the light body works on him, definitely. Uh, you know, he's all decked out in melee. He has the attack plus two, the serious, the quick, fast attack. Uh, classic, classic. Uh, he only has Dende's healing. and uh, Of course, it, you know, I don't advise someone with power body to, you know, have the attack plus two. Defense minus one, because that nice defense minus two. That's an extra 10% damage that you're going to be taking from everything. So, you know, sure, it's nice to have the power body and sacrifice one. But I think attack plus one should go on the power body and attack plus two should go to someone else. Who really should have some healing to uh, back up the the defense minus one that you're having. So most builds, you'll see a lot of the top melee builds, like specifically Nom, where you'll see you know, the attack plus two and the... See? He gets off the fruit because of the light body. If you got power body, you wouldn't have got it off, see? And the computer doesn't really know how to work with that. They're like, okay, well, I see you're doing a B1. I want to stop you. I'll throw, you know, a rush flash. That's like what Turles did to Fasha. You know, just one little rush flash and you're done. But, you know, the computer doesn't know. Oh, he has power body. I mean, light body, so. He gets it off. Barrage. And, uh, what would she be? She would be at the end of her light green. So she's she's still winning. She would still be winning. So that's just a classic build. The attack plus two, uh, defense minus one, quick fast attack, serious with eternal life. But uh, 
I, in my opinion, Turleson kind of needs the light body. Yeah. He's, he's just a whole different fighter when he has the light body. Kill driver. Dodge. Countered. Ow. Damn, that hurt. Wow. And he took her down to what? The end of light green? Yeah, she kicked his butt. Alright. Oh, that was it. <laughs> that was a quick video, so. I, uh, hope that you found this test helpful. So, thank you for supporting me as a tester. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.